So here we have a slightly smaller product from Synology. This one is called the DS213 Air. What, what was that all about? Okay, so basically the Air is for Wi-Fi. This is going to be our very first product that has a router built right in. Right, so you, you don't need to have a router to connect to your internet anymore then? Uh, nope, you can connect to your internet directly through your NAS. Or, you, if you already have a router, you can put the NAS connected to your router, and then you can use your NAS, for example, as a hotspot somewhere else in your house. Right, so you can extend the range of your Wi-Fi if you have a big house. Exactly. This is really easy to set up, and you don't even need a PC to do the basic setup of this. Yeah, that's exactly right. So basically, you have to plug the NAS in, of course, for power, sure. but then everything else can be done straight from your mobile device, like your iPad or your smartphone. Just pull it out, and then you can go into our screen and set everything up wirelessly. So that's really simple. I mean, OK, most people still have a PC at home, but some people maybe have a games console and just a tablet or a smartphone these days. So yeah, but you still need to store your pictures and stuff. So this is pretty cool stuff. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I feel like this is where everything is going in the future. You have your tablet, and then you have your dedicated storage or your dedicated server in your house. All right, cool. So can we take a look at the software? Uh, sure. This is our package center. Now, the package center is pretty much going to be like the Apple Store or the Android market on your smartphone. You can come in here and see all the apps that are available on your Synology device. So for example, we have Download Station. It can be your 24-7 BitTorrent Download Station. Um, we have things like Photo Station. You can put all of your photos up there and it creates a photo blog so you can just easily share all of these pictures with your family. So can you share that over the internet as well? You, uh, you can, of course, and you can access it anywhere you are, anytime. So, for example, I can take you and show you Photo Station. Now you can see this is the blog that we have. Now I can give my mother a link to the pictures of my baby, but maybe I don't want her to see my trip in Shanghai. That's for me to share with my friends. So I give my mom access to one album, I give my friends access to another, and I have access to everything. It's completely controlled. So this is just like an online photo sharing service, except you don't really run out of space. Exactly, and it's all hosted from your own NAS. So if you put these pictures on some kind of you know, online website, you're not really sure. Sometimes these websites get hacked or maybe information you don't want to be in the public domain right. is out there in the public. So this way it's all private. It's all in your personal NAS at home. So only people who have access to the, your NAS can actually access your pictures. Exactly. Another really interesting application that we have is Audio Station. And you can see it right here. It looks pretty much like, you know, whatever audio program you would use at home. Now what I love about this is I have a smartphone, but the storage is pretty small. It does not hold all my music. Right. But I have an unlimited data plan, and no matter where I am, I have access to all the music stored on my NAS. So again, this works right over the internet. It's presumably easy to use. Exactly. So this is a way for me to share files with all the computers in my home. It's a way for me to access files when I'm at work. And we have apps for every mobile device. We have um, every Apple is supported. All Android phones are supported. And we're starting to support Windows as well, the Windows phone. Right, Windows Mobile. Yeah, sorry, no, Windows Phone 8 or, right. or 7 <laughs> or whatever it is they're working on that. Yeah. Right, right, right. Another really great feature um, that we're pretty excited about is called Cloud Station. So I can show you Cloud Station right here. Now, if you've ever heard of Dropbox, this right. is a very similar application to Dropbox. I download the client onto my Mac or PC, and then I can share files within that folder that will automatically sync among every computer that is connected to this Cloud Station. Right, so it means if you forgot your work at home, as long as you've uploaded it, well, as long as you've synced it with your NAS, you're going to be able to access it from work or wherever you are. Exactly. So if I'm at work, it's 5 o'clock, it's time for me to go home, but I'm not finished working on this Excel document, I pop it in my Cloud Station folder, and in a few seconds, it's synced to my home computer. By the time I get home, get out of the car, eat dinner, it's just there waiting for me. That's really convenient. Yeah, for sure.